dietary fiber. Two major categories, insoluble fiber, important in the management of weight, constipation, diverticular disease, and possibly also colon rectal cancer. But then you also have uh, soluble fiber. Soluble fiber is found mostly in oats, it's found in fruits, it's found in flaxseed, and it's found prominently in beans, legumes. Very important in terms of managing cholesterol numbers. It has a beneficial effect in bringing LDL, the dangerous cholesterol, down. It's not a big uh, impact, but it's very, very helpful. And then you also have to think about uh, soluble fiber in helping to stabilize blood sugar levels. Very, very important. As a matter of fact, we recommend to our diabetic patients to have large amounts of starch. Starch? Starch. But unrefined starch. Starch as it comes in nature, protected by fiber, soluble fiber. When you have this kind of starch as you find in corn and in wheat and uh, in even potatoes and you combine this with some of the uh, fiber rich foods you will find that this kind of an unrefined starch with all of its fiber will actually convert into sugar very very slowly in contrast to the refined starch that goes very quickly into sugar and you want to be very very careful as it relates to diabetes not so with the kind of starch that is protected by the fiber in this case, the insulin producing pancreas knows exactly how much insulin to push out so that the body can utilize and function very, very well and efficiently. So we have to really recognize that all starches are not the same. There are starch that is protected by fiber and the diabetic can handle that very effectively and actually prefers it as a source of energy instead of protein and fat. In, in addition, the fiber in food stabilizes the blood sugar levels and actually, as I suggested, reduces the blood sugar levels. It's a very effective way in taking care of not only arresting diabetes type two, but also reversing diabetes. I mean, this is kind of unheard of. You're using a high starch diet to arrest and reverse type 2 diabetes exactly right. This is a new science. It has been around for about 10, 20 years. Well, we have known it for over 100 years, but now we better understand it. And so fiber plays a very important role, as does the amount of fat in the diet and on the body and in the individual cell. When that happens and you reduce the fat content in the body and in the cell, the insulin becomes uh, more sensitive and the body begins to work very effectively in diabetic patients, beginning to arrest and reverse the disease process. So again, dietary fiber plays a very important role, particularly the soluble fiber as found in beans. I mean, we tell our diabetic patients all the time, make sure you have at least one cup of beans every day. So diabetes is being very positively affected in a magical fashion by having sufficient soluble fiber.